7 holiday photos ideas to slay on Instagram. Hello my love, and if you're new here, hi, I'm Bonnie. The holiday season! First I'm going to start with the main ideas, and at the end I'm going to give you a bonus with ideas that I haven't really tried, but I have my eye on them. In this video I'm not only going to give you some ideas, but also I'm going to give you a couple tips while you're taking a photo to make the process even easier for you. And let's start where we are. Photos in a fireplace. I actually didn't have a fireplace for the longest time because I used to live in New York and then in Florida, and now I'm in Chicago and I actually need a fireplace so I have to take advantage of it and if you're subscribed to my youtube channel you know that I really love that mix of beauty and action of reality at the same time and I think that a fireplace is the perfect place to start doing those things so of course decoration is the main thing to really bring that holiday spirit into the frame let's say so for this particular case I did add some stockings some other decoration and of course presents because nothing says more than holiday then I don't want to see my bank account in January. So tricky thing about this shot is that you want to have a little bit of a taste of every element. Fire, the decor, your pose, you don't want to get lost into all this stuff. I wouldn't really go into it with like a super straight rigid pose. I will definitely start with a pose that makes me feel comfortable at the beginning and then it will be really nice to experiment. And mix it that blend of fake reality, meaning act like somebody's giving you a present or you're giving a present to somebody and that gives a little bit more of a connection to the photo especially now that on Instagram photo dumps are very popular so that's like a great idea where you can look like somebody is giving you a present also take a photos of the presents also you can take a photo of the presents being open so all the paper wrap being wrapped <laughs> really catching all those little details you can also have more of like an activity in front of the fireplace like reading or also showcasing your outfit the outfit aspect of photography it's really important important because it's gonna really set the mood of the whole photo. I mean, you can really wear wherever you want, but in my years of holiday photos, one thing that I love the most is the styling in the photo. And that starts with the materials that you're picking for the outfit in that photo. So for example, right now I'm wearing something that it's a very winter, something that it's velvety, but it doesn't have to be that way. It can also be something silky. If you are in an area where it's like really hot, you can just play with color and just wear something that it's red, white, green, gold, silver, all these colors that really kind of scream holiday. Play around with textures, with patterns, and with color. Right now, it's a really, really trendy to go for that minimalistic look, and there's a lot of white and green and browns, but also don't be scared to be super fun and just have like a crazy pajama party kind of thing. If you click the view button, you're gonna see some of my favorite PJs, and I'm also gonna leave you a couple links in the description box that you can see. I normally like to give you like a selection of three, so one that it's like pretty accessible something and it's kind of like a middle range and then something if you really want to splurge and you want to use that outfit for many many years i'm going to be repeating the aspect of the outfit all over the steps because i do think that it brings a big chunk to the table how together we are with the concept since i already took this photo one thing that i have to say is that it can get pretty hot just keep that in mind <laughs> If you are enjoying this content, you need to subscribe. I don't only give you super cool ideas and tips to create the perfect photo, but also we explore fashion so we can have fun, find our style, not only in photos, but also in real life. The whole point is that we feel and look confident and beautiful. Um, if you like all this, subscribe. Let's go for the next idea and that's the Christmas tree photo. The Christmas tree photo it's obviously a classic and I do have a lot of tips for this particular photo. The first one starts before you actually set up your Christmas tree and yes don't kill me I know it's kind of late this video is coming out at kind of at the end of the year already but you can use this probably for next year and that's okay. The placement of your Christmas tree makes a big difference especially during the day. Normally people will place a Christmas tree in front of a window. And the problem is that then when you pose in front of the window, you're gonna see yourself dark and there's not really a lot of detail for you. You can absolutely edit this in Photoshop or in any other app. The reality is that the closest you are to a perfect photo before any editing, the better. Because then you can use the editing tool for something creative and fun, like adding an old edgy look, playing around with the tones, like how warm or cold it is, instead of trying to to just like 
see your face. Plus, you're not gonna have the same brightness on your skin if the lighting is not on your favor. So normally what I will suggest is that if you can place your Christmas tree separate from a window, so when you pose next to the Christmas tree, the light is hitting your face, that's the golden, that's the best. And if you can actually do that, your space allow you to do that, amazing. If not, the second best thing, that is the one that I normally do every year, is that I'm gonna place the Christmas tree in a position that the lighting is hitting me on the side. You're gonna have a little bit more texture on your skin, it's inevitable, but it's way better than when the lighting is coming from behind. With that said, we're gonna touch the posing situation in this. Oh my God, you can see my belly there. Well, it's okay, it's full of love. Okay, classic tree photo. Normally people are just, you know, normally it's a night and normally you will like get in front of the tree, put your hand on your hip and pose. And girl, you look great. I love seeing the photos and I love seeing the whole family get together to do this photo. This is great. If you want to step it up though, there's a couple of things that I could tell you that you can use, okay? First, if you can take this photo during the day, the better. The more light you have, the better. It means you can play around with things way more. I know this is not always possible, but if you can do it, please. Especially during Christmas morning, which it's gonna be during the day and your own wrapping gifts and all that stuff. This is a great moment to take photos, to, try, to take candid. You can place your tripod, you can boom your camera, and you can click with your phone, with click with a remote control. Even you can do it with your own phone, put a timer on it, like something that makes it look very natural. I think it's absolutely beautiful, and the light, it's so much in your favor. If you can do that, I would really suggest action. I think it was last year or the year before, I don't remember, I did another video well, I show you poses specifically with the Christmas tree and you can see that special. I'm gonna see if I can link it somewhere here. But the whole point is that everyone is doing an action. I did this photo, I did this example photo with my brother. So I made my brother touch the tree and then I placed myself in a place where I have my own space and then my little cat had his own space too. And that was super nice. Taking that idea, you can take it with the whole family. So maybe somebody is bringing cookies and tea, or somebody is bringing a chocolate, another person is decorating, another person is finishing wrapping the gift. Whatever action you can really bring to this photo, it's gonna to make it even more and more and more fun. However, if you don't have any option that to do it at night, don't worry, but worry a little bit, you are gonna need some external lighting. If not, you're just not gonna get a good photo. The lighting that you probably have at home, it's an overhead lighting, so just light that is coming from the ceiling, and that's definitely not the best lighting for, you know, nothing besides like cooking and like, not for photos. It makes you look older, it showcases more wrinkles, it shows you like you have eye bags even if you don't have them. You look, it transforms your face completely. So if you can use a light that it's around eye level that you have at home, that'd be great, but you can also purchase a light online, and I'm gonna leave you, again, three examples in the description box so you can get them. You can get one little one for your phone. Remember the smaller the light is, the less space is gonna showcase light. So maybe the little light that you have on your phone, it's absolutely amazing for selfies, but if you want like a full body shot, you probably need a bigger light. So I'm gonna give you a couple examples. The one that I use, it's something like this a little bit. It's not comfortable to take everywhere, but it's absolutely great for like events and stuff like that where you wanna look cute. Of course, you can go all the way and have like a big light, but I mean, I'm a fashion photographer by trade. It makes sense for me to have that big light, but maybe for you, it doesn't make a lot of sense. But maybe it does because you're like, girl, I don't care. I just want amazing photos. I don't care if I need to have the sun inside my house. And it's like, well, I think, I think you're right. I think that's a great idea. And I think that you should get it. I'm gonna leave you the link in the description box in case that you wanna experiment with that. The next idea, it's the outdoor wonderland. And the outdoor wonderland, it's maybe if you don't even wanna decorate. If you wanna experiment with something new because you're absolutely, you're like, dude, I photos in my house all the time and I didn't get nothing really new that I'm excited about or I just want more holiday photos. Or you know what? I don't feel like decorating and it's okay. 
because other people are doing it for you so you just go to that market so i actually went to this market that they have here in chicago and i think that they have different versions of it in different cities but i think it was jack frost i'm not 100 sure i'm gonna investigate and you know the actual name and it was a ton of fun. I actually never done it before. It, I mean, I've been into like holiday markets, but not these ones that have so many photo ops that you can just go have so much fun. I had so much fun with my husband. Post here, post there, go down, like let's make a video. It was so much fun. They had this kind of like tunnel full of lights. I made a mistake. I didn't bring my actual external light. I was like just too excited. I don't, we all make mistakes. But in this case of emergencies, what I normally will do is I will, I will use the flash of another phone and just use that light as kind of like the main light. Uh, my favorite photos of all these ones was the one that I was showcasing my belt. And again, the outfit makes a big difference because it gives you that holiday spirit. Right now, I'm in my elegant era, maybe, where I'm using a lot of like minimalistic stuff. So I did pick this outfit where a very basic base and then I pimped it out. Let me show you the video. You may think that you need a lot of money to look stylish. Please, let me show you this. This is cute, I can wear some flats and I'm done. However, if we make it more elegant with ties, hear me out, hear me out, I clean up my act, add some sweet poison, and when you turn around, boom, pure beauty. Since I were under 40 bucks, I look big. I kind of look like a good girl. So we could add some attitude. This is a mama's tip. Nothing makes you more elegant than a red lips. This is beautiful. Then we close the deal with a simple coat. Babe, can you see the difference? So yeah, I love that outfit, especially because he had, oh, I'm actually wearing the bow right now. So this, so this little bow is really festive and going with all the lights. Either if you don't wanna showcase your face because you're too shy yet, and I absolutely understand. Or another reason can also be that you wanna mix. Again, I was telling you that the photo jumps are so popular right now in social media. So you can have like your cute outfit photo and then go for like a detailed shot. And then you can do your carousel on Instagram beautiful absolutely stunning actually let me know if they have some of these fairs in your town in your city i would love to know well first where are you at also it will be really informative because if somebody else from another city is like hey yeah i know this one that it happens on my city and then somebody from that city is like oh yeah i didn't know that about that one that's pretty cool then you know we inform each other. Gift wrapping going wild. So having the perfect photo, it's amazing, but also the power of documenting. It's been something that has been very trendy, not just now, but through the years. I had this example where I tried to catch like the Christmas tree and I was like wrapping and playing around, but you can go all the way. You can also like make like a full on photo shoot just with paper, just with wrapping paper. You can even do a dress with a with this but that's for people that are a little bit more handy i'm not that handy with creating stuff so maybe that it's not for me but if you do tag me i want to see that dress if you're going to this route a couple things to keep in mind will be a lot of the color like what's the pattern that you're using for the gifts i think that that's quite important this year i was i actually bought it in dollar tree but because i knew it was not going to be like the most fanciest thin and I wanted it to look nice what I did was like to buy either monochromatic ones or just stick with one pattern other people bring their gift they're going to ruin my scene but you know you do anything for family but the, but the main idea is for it to have a little bit of space for everything so maybe if you're picking something like this maybe what you're wearing could be some tone of red some tone of green something I really place around this even white so this pop up even more so just get really creative but really keep in mind the color scheme that you're using for this uh, just to make it more fun and pay attention to the details as well dinner photo this idea the dinner photo i know it normally would take it with our phone and it's just a flash and that's just not a great idea i in this particular photo that i'm going to show you i did use the gmv light which is really inexpensive but it is big it can it definitely takes a place in the room i did this photo for thanksgiving but it translates perfectly for the holiday season if you want to improve your dinner holiday photos here's an idea move the camera a little bit more towards the center the way that you're going to set up the table is going to be thinking about your camera frame. I decided to have one centerpiece and then go around it, but I'm sure you have better ideas 
us to set up a beautiful table. But the whole point is that you make it look like there's a lot going on. So I'm not really putting anything at the ends because we're not gonna see that on camera. You can tweak as much as you like. So everything has their own space as much as you can. For this particular photo, I'm gonna use a key light because I don't want the overhead lighting, but you can create this effect with a lamp that you have at home. Or another possibility is that you take the photo during the day and you're in front of a window. To make things easier, I set up everything so my husband can take some test photos. And here's the fun part, we start posing. I wanted a regular cheers. I also wanted something inspiring American Gothic. And then I wanted a more lively action shot. Your food might end up being a little cool, but, but your photos are gonna go from this to something more like this. Follow for more. If you don't want to have the full-on production, I will really suggest you to start the dinner earlier if you can, so you can use natural light. Put a tripod and the most important thing is that everyone has a place where you can see their faces because sometimes, you know, everyone is like, and then everyone is covering everyone's face. So it's really nice if you can take the time to set up the tripod and be like, okay, everyone has their place. Let's do like five shots. In the first one, everyone is cheering. I know the more people are involved, the crazier this gets. But if you get in into like, hey guys, I really want a cool picture. Let's have some fun. This could actually be really fun activity. You can either cheers, capture a couple of shots where you guys are eating and talking, but you can actually direct people if you want. Put your sergeant uniform and be like, you interact with the mashed potatoes. You do this like you're serving. The, you look at the camera like, what the heck is happening? I mean like all this stuff can make it really, really fun and interactive is really up to you. The car photo, and this is great for New Year's Eve. I've seen a ton of photos in the car, kind of simulating like if you're going to a party, you're definitely not coming back from that party because you're probably like you had too many drinks and you cannot be taking photos, girl. Before you go to the party, that's the point to do the photo. Tips for this kind of photo. Have external lighting because this is gonna be a night and your car doesn't have any lighting. Use some sparkle so you can have a ton of fun so it reflects on your dress, that light reflects on your dress. At this point, you still have time to get an external light. You're watching this video and it's too late. Just use the flash of the camera of somebody else. But please get that external light. I'm gonna link it. So then you gotta have like that reflection, that sexiness. You can go there as sexy as you want. A champagne bottle because I wanted to give out that like Vegas style. I wasn't in Vegas, I was in Fresno, Chicago, but it looks like a lot of fun. So you can add some props if you want, that's great. And also when you're editing the photo, don't be afraid to add some like weird effects. It doesn't really need to be perfect. So something like a blurry effect or like a shiny Kira effect back in the day. But any other app that allows you to do that effect, that can make the photo really, really fun. The sexy elevator. Something like you're taking off your shoes, you're in the elevator. Elevators look like very natural and pretty cool. Again, lighting could be a problem, but maybe you have a really nice elevator or you can find a nice elevator. And I think that the pose should really go towards sexy tour it's really late and I look super cute even though that I'm so retired but I'm actually like just posing for the photo because I want to slay on my Instagram <laughs> so you can act like you're like taking your shoes off or just grab your shoes and go bare feet or something like that I think that that concept around the elevator it's pretty fun I mean, there were supposed to be seven, but I have another one and I don't want to miss it. It's going to be really quick, I promise. Okay. It's a wide lens selfie. So of course you're going to be taking selfies with your family all the way around. But a trend that Gen Z has taken to the next level is to take photos with your back camera, better quality, remember, and choose a wide lens. So it's going to take more space. Remember that when you're using a wide lens, it's definitely going to create some sort of distortion because it's natural because of the lens that you're using. So try to put it as far away as you can. Don't go super close because then you're gonna see that distortion on your face. And it's fine and cool if you see that distortion in other areas of the photo, but not so cool if it's on your face. Don't go that high because then you're gonna look like you have a ton of forehead. Don't go that low because you can get away with it, but you know, some of us cannot. So go for something eye level or just a little bit here, not that. A little bit here, not like here, <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, so now I wanna give you a couple ideas that I've been looking at and I think they're so, so, so cute, but I haven't experimented with it, but I do want you to have them. It's gonna be like a 
cheesy Christmas photos, crazy flash, a very old cheesy, that's very trendy right now, so if you want to go for that vibe, great. The champagne details, I think that's a really good thing for New Year's. Another super cute idea that you can use is different wines. I think that this, this is a trend that I need to credit to Emma Chamberlain. She definitely wasn't the first one doing this kind of photos, but she did bring it back. So she had a bunch of coffee. I think that if it's something New Year's, you can do a bunch of champagne and that could be really cool. If you want to go for something a little bit more elegant, I think that the campaign from Ralph Lawrence this year was so, so, so beautiful. Silky materials to make it really elegant. I think it, it was, it was a big win for this campaign. I'm gonna leave you the link of that dress because we need it. And finally, glamour and fast food. Uh, there's something about it. We've been liking it for many, many, many years. And I think that it's something that you can experiment, especially again, because it goes a lot with the storytelling things of part of things. So maybe you have a really fancy dress or like a lot of fur or something like that. And then you're eating just like greasy pizza. And yeah, for some reason that it's cute. So it could definitely be a nice idea. If you have fun in this video, subscribe because cool people do cool things. And that's it. Love you.